Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the Windows Driver Foundation WUDFhost.exe is using high CPU or memory usage on your Windows computer. So this tutorial should be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to recommend doing is opening up the search menu. Type in CMD, best result should go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. So I'm gonna have a couple of commands in the description of my video. Go ahead and copy the first one. It starts with msdt.exe and then go up the top bar of this command prompt window, right click on it, select edit and then paste it in. And then you can minimize the command prompt. We're gonna have to go back into that in a couple of minutes here. And select the advanced button and make sure it's checkmarked to apply repairs automatically. And select next. And if it's able to detect anything and hopefully resolve it, that should hopefully have been able to get you on your way. If you're still having a prompt, go back to the command prompt here and paste in the second command. The only difference is it's going to be running the performance diagnostic utility. And if you're on Windows 11, it might not be available, but on Windows 10 it should be. So you can just go ahead and run it from there and you just would follow along with the on-screen prompts. Something else I recommend taking a look at, open up the search menu, type in device manager, best match, or come back with device manager, go ahead and open that up. And you want to expand the network adapter section, so double click on it. Right click on your network connection in here and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the one that's applicable for your device. If there's only a generic one in here, well, that's what you're going to have to select. But if you have one that's more specific for your uh, network connection type, so if it says Intel, for example, and using an Intel network connection, it's probably better than using a generic driver. And then you want to select Next. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And once that's done, hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. One final step we can perform here, open up the search menu, type in CMD, best match, check it back with command prompt, right click on it, and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. And once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. So there you go, guys. Hopefully I was able to help resolve the issues you were having with the Windows Driver Foundation process. 
So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.